Medical Disclaimer This video is for informational purposes. It does not replace the medical advice of a trained doctor. Seek medical advice before beginning any treatment plan. <coughs> Hi, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Shall we see what we start today at? Oh. My blood sugar is 7.9. And we have about 20.8 units of insulin on the system. So, we're starting off pretty good. I'll leave it there until it goes out. Ooh. I want to talk about T1T. Is that what I talk about every day? T1D, type 1 diabetes. People associate as a kid's disease. Well, there's us adults that, you know, it's a terrible thing that these young diabetics grow into these older diabetics. I have <coughs> gone through many years of being or telling someone that I was type 1 diabetic. Oh, you can't be that. That's a kid's disease. Okay, but it's gone curable. Yeah, but it's still a kid's disease. Well, hello. T1D here. And it's not only a kid's disease. Adults still have to fight. Get up every day and fight. There's a number of <coughs> videos online from diabetics just like me and they keep saying oh it's a kid's disease you got a kid's disease like that makes it so much less sorry folks being a T1D we still have to deal the same. We have to have lows, we have to have highs. Sometimes we just can't get to work. It's not a great thing to have. But yet, oh no, we're just, so basically you're saying we're children. And that, oh, we should have at least type 2. Type 1 is only for children. When you try to correct, you get, nah. It's amazing. People need to wake up. And something that's... <coughs> kind of plays into this, but it doesn't, is, <coughs> excuse me, we're two relatively different diseases. Type 1, our pancreas doesn't work. Type 2, their pancreas still works, but it's all to do with sugar, so that's why we're kind of glummed together. I've told this story before where I had to go to diabetic training and it was always geared to type 2 and as a type 1 I'd sit there have to listen to this whole presentation and then oh well but yeah this happens with type 1 So where do we stop? Okay. 
There needs to be more education out there. Bringing people with type 1 diabetes into the fold. Kids, or people get so upset with kids getting diabetes. Oh, they had so much to live for. Well, we're still here. The way things have changed and the progression and keeping our blood sugars down means that a type 1 diabetic will be around. Back when I was first diagnosed, I can remember getting my first magazine from the Canadian Diabetes Association. And in it, I read it cover to cover and a number of times. There was an article that said, most companies will not provide life insurance to a diabetic. Now, it doesn't seem to be an issue. You can find life insurance if, once again, you control your blood sugar. But a lot of the... Uh, has to you advertise, and I brought this up before, advertising is all about type 2. They don't talk about type 1s as an adult. And when you hear diabetes, they don't change their mind between type 1 and type 2 or distinguish between the two and not change their mind but it's time we do change our mind type 1's are here we may be only 10% but every day we still have to get up we still have to do our blood tests, count carbs, uh, take care of our body, make sure we drink a lot of water. But yet, we just, I don't want to call it ridicule, but we're talked down to, like, oh, you can't be you can't be a type one. No, that's kids. You have to be a type two now. Cause mysteriously you go from a type one where your pancreas doesn't work to miraculously it starts working. And you know what? If you just lost weight or you just exercise more, your diabetes would disappear. Those two things may help, but it's not going to cure the issue. It could change things around a lot for people with type 2, but it's not going to cure type 1s. And it's important that type 1s still do these, but it's not going to cure it. It could lower how much insulin you need, how much better you feel about yourself, but it's not going to cure. And I worry so often, oh, well, you're just not taking care of yourself. You're, you're, I've seen you have ice cream. You're not allowed to have ice cream. Yeah, I can have ice cream. I know how much carbs are in it. Well, that's wonderful that you know how much carbs. What are you doing? Becoming a dietitian? And in reality, all type 1s should be 
amateur dietitians. If people, they used to say years ago, if people followed the type 1 diabetes diet, there'd be less diabetes, or less people who would get diabetes, and I thought. But they just told me that it wasn't because what I ate. Again, it was type 2. So it's time as adults and type 1 diabetics, we let our voices be heard. And say to people, yes, it's wonderful that your aunt got rid of their diabetes. But there are people out there who, as of this taping, doesn't offer any cures. Just think about it next time you have a conversation. Mm -hmm.